Who are they? The top one tenth of one percent. What are they like? These people are so posh and snobby. They're snobby. That's rich on the Mark Thompson show. Yes, they're snobby. Let's check in on the. This is something I wanted to do, Kim. Uh, at the end of last year. And we never got to it. It's only the beginning of the new year, so we can still do it. These are the top 10 most expensive celebrity real estate transactions of the last year. Okay, so these are celebs, all of whom bought big properties and residences. And here's the top 10. Let's start with uh, the bottom and work up it seems odd to say bottom given the amount of money involved but all right these brad pitt sold off a craftsman style home in the los Feliz neighborhood of los angeles that he bought way back in 1994 he's added nearby properties in the time since an oil heiress aileen getty paid 33 million for this compound where Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie raised their six children until the 2016 split. Tony has a picture of it up there from overhead, so you can see the enormous compound. As I say, Brad Pitt and Angelina added to the original house they purchased. And they swapped with Getty as part of this downsizing to her nearby $5.5 million mid-century modern dwelling. Meantime... Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck were busy following their wedding in the summer of 2022. They began shuffling their real estate portfolios and setting their sights on a shared home. I mean, after all, they're newlyweds. During this process, the uh, Jennifer Lopez property was eight acres in Bel Air. She bought it in 2016. She got rid of it. The nine-bedroom French country-style home, its picturesque plot, which included a private lake, guest cottages, and an amphitheater, did sell for $34 million in October. Oh, all right. A little applause for the big real estate deal. Rick Ross. In April of this past year, he announced that he'd acquired a Texas mansion and bought fellow rapper... Meek Mill's Atlanta house for $4.2 million. But once summer hit, it became clear that the record exec was just warming up. You see, Kim, he had a bigger deal in him. In August, he laid out $35 million for a mansion on Miami's celebrity favorite Star Island. It's where the hip and the hip hop comes to hip and hip hop. I love it. I love it. Yeah. There's never been anything like it. Why are you yelling? Tommy Hilfiger was in the big real estate game. 41 million, Kim. He flipped a Mediterranean-style Palm Beach, Florida place in June. He had bought it less than six months before that. And Tommy Hilfiger spent $36.85 million on this 1920s structure. And uh, 7,000 square foot residents change hands for just over 41 million. Tom Ford, isn't he also a uh, designer, Kim? Tom Ford? Uh, Kim, of course, having silenced her mic, wanting nothing to do with the show any longer. Over the summer. I'm sorry, I was agreeing with you. All oh. my agreeing words were gone. Yes. Wow. Yes, well, it's a what? Uh, I'm very Tom, proud of you for knowing that. Tom Ford and Hilfiger, both designers. He bought a historic East Hampton mansion connected to Jackie Kennedy, and he bought it for $52 million. Wow. There it is. Mm. Uh, That is a lot. (laughs) That is a lot. That's a lot for that. I mean, that's not very grand. Well, it's it's 8,500 before you say that. 8,500 square feet has 10 bedrooms. It has seven acres, and it was once owned by the First Lady's grandfather, John Vernou Bouvier, Jr., well, there Kennedy you spent many of her childhood summers there on the premises. Hmm. That's where Tom Ford just picked up a $52 million property. Mark Wahlberg. 
$55 million. He listed his 6.2-acre Beverly Hills home in April for $87.5 million. But it wasn't until February that it finally sold for $55 million, Kim. They didn't get the 82. Yeah, the 87 didn't come in. He got 55. Marky Mark's doing all right. Well, yeah, I'm guessing he wasn't sweating it too much. But, I mean, that is a come down. I mean, it's... Thirty million less than what you Look wanted. That. Look now at that. that's grand. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. If you're going to pop down that kind of money, and that's what you need to get. Oh, I love it. Uh, Saudi Arabia pays cash. Yeah, it does look very Saudi Arabia. I mean, that Tom Ford place is a shack compared to this. <laughs> what? <at> that. <laughs> uh. Designed by Richard Landry, it's 30,500 square feet, just a mansion, 12 bedrooms, 20 bathrooms. It's where Kim really wants to settle. That's right, Calvin. But it, it was, mm-hmm. you could have gotten it for $30 million less than they wanted. As I say, it sold for $55 million. I think Liz um, is thinking that's a little ostentatious, maybe. No, I see, yeah. Uh, ostentatious is a ding word. Mm. Um, the... Uh, uh, let me get to Jeff Bezos. In August, he started making moves to get back to Miami as his home base. He began with a $68 million purchase of a 2.8-acre waterfront estate in the exclusive enclave of Indian Creek Island in Biscayne Bay. It's known as Billionaire Bunker, Kim. Um, it's a man-made island accessed from Miami Beach by a guarded bridge. Aren't those the best kind of bridges? Yeah, not, account, they don't it, let riffraff on the bridge. Ivanka gotta... Trump and Tom Brady are among the residents who crossed that bridge. Yeah. And that's only one of his properties. That's a $68 million do they, property. Do they patrol the waters there very uh, oh, as well? These like, are good questions. You just take a little motorboat out there and hang out or no? No, that's a good question. I mean, maybe you should uh, look into that. I mean, uh, I... You I, get nothing! <laughs> if you don't <laughs> live there, you don't get anything. Jeff Bezos, $79 million he laid out a couple of months later with another spot on Indian Creek, mm. a neighboring property. 19,000 square foot Mediterranean style mansion. So he's the owner of $147 million worth of property on that island. And finally, how the... much money you get to control who, who lives next door. <laughs> In this case, nobody. That's right. Yeah. Uh, it is true. He is uh, in control. Mm-hmm. The final entry into last year's top real estate deals of celebrities goes to anybody? Beyonce and Jay Z, two hundred million dollars for that baby, right on the ocean. Although it is rather office complex, like right? oh, well, I mean, from the air, <laughs> yeah, it's rather concrete. Uh, what? Okay, it's. I mean, it's been a record-shattering year for Beyonce already. In February, she broke the record for the most Grammys ever. She was awarded four of them for the album Renaissance. She's a 32-time Grammy winner. She and Jay-Z got the most expensive home ever sold in the state of California, and it was last year. I think it's just modern. I don't think it's office-like, but all right. Kim uh, and I disagree. There's not um, really much homey about that place. Well, it's, it's, like it's a box. No, it's modern. It's, it's got a I'm modernity really that is box. angular, and you know that's all part of that scene. Mm-hmm. What can you tell us about the scene? It's modern, Larry. Very yeah. modern. Please meet us in the conference room right off the pool. Yeah. It is. T- <laughs> no. We're having a staff meeting. It is uh, $200 million, as I mentioned. It's located in Malibu. And uh, yeah, it's concrete. It's 30,000 square feet. And I think it's stunning. I mean, if you have mm. art for the walls and if you yeah. have, I mean, it's the modernity. You know, Not very I, homey. John says it looks like an Amazon fulfillment center. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think it's quite special. So uh, I, I anyway, two hundred million dollars makes yeah. it the top celebrity acquisition and the most expensive real estate deal in all of California. And that is that's rich. More on how the other half lives. These people aren't just rich. They're crazy rich. Next time on The Mark Thompson Show. Hi, it's Mark, and I thought that was great. 
Hit the notification bell, you'll know whenever there's a new video being dropped, and please subscribe to our channel to help us save the universe.